We're live. Hey, everybody. It's October 22nd, and you're here at the Chaos Weekly Community Call. I'm Elizabeth. Nice to meet you all. Nice to see you all. I know we have a new face. Hi, Jamie. Nice to see you. Hello. Um, thank you. Um, this is my first time here, so thank you so much. My boss recommended me this session, so I, I'm so excited for that. <laughs> Awesome. Well, we are happy to have you here. Um, this is a meeting that is under the Chaos Code of Conduct, just so everybody knows. For those who don't know, uh, if you haven't read it, you might want to go do that. Um, what else? We don't care if your cameras are on or off. We're really pretty casual here, and we just want you to feel comfortable and that you are happy and having a good time here at Chaos and finding your best self. I don't know what that means, but um, if you would like to add your name to the agenda, that would be great. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you do dress up for Halloween, what are you going to be? I love to see this. I love to see adults dressing up because I think it's just fun. And, you know, adulting is hard, so we should just be silly sometimes. I love it. Love this. That's funny. And of course, Matt, you're not such a buzzkill man. What would you be? Actually, I thought about going to my basement and turning off all my lights. In fact, <laughs> that's, that's how valid. in the mood I am this year. <laughs> yeah, no, that's valid. Yeah, I appreciate that very much. That that vibe. Um, okay, so let's start with our agenda. I just wanted to remind everybody that we are coming to the end of the community survey. The last day to fill that out is next Friday, the thirty. I think it's no Thursday next Thursday the 31st October 31st Halloween speaking of Halloween so please 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 fill that out so we can make chaos better um and you don't have to be in a, like you can be a brand new person to our community and we still 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 value your opinion um just as much as everyone else because uh, newcomer experience is also very important to us so we would really appreciate if you could take a few minutes and do that it shouldn't take you too long maybe 10 minutes max to do uh I guess depending on how much you want to say, how much you have to say, um, but it should be pretty quick, um, but it is super, super helpful for the project. So we really encourage you to fill that out. We'd love that. Does anybody have questions about that? Do you know okay. how many responses we've gotten so far? Last I checked, which was a couple, uh, last week, I think it was only like 25. So I really am hoping we get more okay. than that. What did we have last time? Oh, that's a good question. I don't remember. I don't remember at all. I need to go back and look. Sean, do you, do you remember by chance? I don't. Okay. I don't either. Okay. I feel like it was more than 25. <laughs> okay. So I'm hoping that we get more. Okay. The next thing on our agenda is to let y'all know that uh, we have put up the website for ChaosCon EU, and you can now register as well. It uh, looks like this. It's in the same place that it was last year um, in the EU. It's two days before FOSTEM. We do say we're co-located with it, um, but it is two days before FOSTEM so that you can also attend anything that happens the day before. There's a lot of stuff is going on the day before FOSTEM as well. We are listed on the FOSTEM Fringe events, so we are officially a Fringe event, but um, yeah, we don't have a ton of details yet. Schedule and speakers and things are still in progress. Uh, sponsorship is open though, if you would like to sponsor, that would also be fantastic. And you can register here on Eventbrite. Our registration is $10 and does include um, snacks all day, no lunch, but snacks all day and then a social event in the evening. So hang out with the chaos crew. We would love it. Is uh, there, like I said, there's an order oh. for that with the Bedford. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. we're good. We're good to go. Okay. Um, I will actually, that's a good point. I'm just going to put here. I just want to make sure. Oops, that's not a sub. I haven't confirmed with the, um, after since after we signed the contracts with the main place, we have to like do a separate thing with mm -hmm. them. Um, yep. So I need to come again with them that we are good. I think Georg was 
had a potential sponsor though, so I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow. But yeah, that would be great if the sponsor could almost just like coordinate, like instead of giving us the money and then we, I don't know, if there's any way they could just coordinate with V8. Right, yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. But everything else should be set. Awesome. For those who haven't heard, we are going to do a CFP this time. We, we, sometimes don't do a CFP, we just have more discussion sessions, but this time we decided to do a CFP. So that will come probably in the next few days. I think we're just sorting out the timing of it. We're trying to work with the timing of FOSTEM because I know a lot of people will wait to see if they got their talk accepted to FOSTEM before they want to commit to also chaos. So um, yeah, that's just kind of the discussion we're having right now, but otherwise that will be coming in the next few days, I would imagine. Any questions on this stuff? Very exciting. Okay. I was thinking, you know how we've mentioned Chaos Orama as a possible name? Yeah. <laughs> I yes. also thought Chaos Palooza. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Chaos Con? Yeah. <laughs> just it, so it you does know. Flow. Yeah, chaos palooza. That yeah, it flows. I mean, chaos con is so you know. It is. It's very professional and straight, straightforward. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I like. I'm, I'm not saying I do like it. It is effective and it is efficient. But chaos palooza actually has a warm place in my heart now for that. I didn't. I didn't think of that. Or chaos arama. I feel like these have a little more personality to them, which yeah. might be more reflective of our community. But I don't know if, if somebody can get funding from their company to go to like a chaos palooza. That sounds a little. <laughs> we need a band. <laughs> <laughs> we need some. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, any other questions about ChaosCon palooza aroma? Okay, I put this on the agenda if we wanted to. I don't I don't know if we want to revisit this discussion right now, if it's uh, something well, we want maybe to maybe just because we did have an opportunity to um, talk to the board about this. And I don't know if we brought that up in the last community call. When was the board meeting last week? Yeah, okay. a week ago today. It was after okay. the community meeting. So we have yes, not so I mean okay, so we had a chance to um, talk about we what we've been about. talking about for weeks. What was that, Sean? Maybe it was a week ago tomorrow. I'm okay. I taught that day. Never mind. Keep going. <laughs> um, and the reception was about the same as it's been here in terms of like, yeah, it's positive to consider, you know, archiving some of the metrics. Um, so continue that work. Um, also just continuing to kind of sort out what we do with metric models with perhaps a, a more, uh, more focus on the practitioner guides or just the guides in general that could be expert guides. Um, so in, in that process, uh, we're still kind of wrapping up the move to the new template for all of the metrics. And I think that'll be done relatively shortly. Um, Elizabeth and I have been kind of going through those um, templates and we'll, we'll continue, I think, at this point, once the templating is done and we reduce the list by, I think we've identified about 30 metrics that could be candidates for archive. Um, just kind of working on updating the narrative around the remaining, say, 55 metrics that are in the new template. Um, it's probably not going to be perfect in terms of what we choose to archive. Um, but again, all the links will still be available. Um, nothing is going away. They'll be searchable, but they just won't be immediately evident on our web page. So no metrics are going in the trash. They're just kind of not being put in such a prominent location as they are now. And then the metrics models, um, 
kind of wondering about the current utility of those metrics models. There was discussion about perhaps identifying the metric models as candidates for the ISO process, but still archiving the metric models, again, as is so evident on the web page. Like the metrics, none of them would go away. They'd still be available. Um, but we just really wouldn't work on developing new ones. And we would encourage people to find other ways to talk about how they bring metrics together. For anybody else that was at that meeting or last meetings, did I get that right or miss any part of it? Sounds right to me. Okay. But I feel like at this point, a lot of what we're talking about, they're kind of guideposts for, for moving forward on this. I suspect as we finish, say, the new templating, we'll have things that come up or, you know, as we're refining or editing the current metrics, <clears throat> and, um, we'll bring things back. So I think these aren't necessarily what, what you were writing down are like strict rules on what we're going to be doing. Um, I think a lot of it will evolve, but this is kind of how we're posting things just to get, get going. Yeah, that all, that's all fair. Mm -hmm. Who has a question? Would, I was going to say, and if you'd like to be part of this conversation, like we have our metrics meeting still, where you can certainly bring things up here. But just to be like real clear, like the, the people who are doing the editing and kind of the new templating, there are going to be decisions that are made on the metrics. And we'll bring back all of those decisions. But, you know, if you're really adamant about a metric not being archived or a metric model, say not being archived or something like that, join the conversation and we'll encourage you to edit it or support that model in ways that are meaningful for you. And the group of people that are looking at these things are people who have been in the community for a long, long time. So just kind of keep that in mind. Like there will be decisions that are going to be made in the metrics meeting <laughs> and doing that metrics work. And if you want to be part of that process, you kind of have to join. Or it could be on Slack too. If you have comments, bring it up there too. Okay, who has questions, comments? Okay, that was a quick discussion. <laughs> Sometimes it's just that easy. It is just that easy. I mean, honestly, just so every this this stems from the high cost of maintaining all of these metrics and metrics models, and it's it's really over the years has started to fall on just a few handful of people, and so if if you, if you if you want things done, we need more than just comments. We we need the work, and so for those few handful of people that are maintaining them, I think it's it's really us that's saying, all right, it's time to <laughs> to kind of bring this in and, and think about what we have and what we present to people. So that's really what this is about. Definitely quality over quantity is uh, kind of how we're, we're looking at this. So yeah, thanks, Matt. Thanks for the update. Yeah, that's Lucy snoring, if you're wondering. She's very tired. She had a hard day of dogging today. <laughs> so far. Our day of dogging. Wow. Our day of dogging. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> Dog's life, uh, as they say. Dog's life. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll move forward with the agenda if we don't have any further conversation about it today.
And again, you know, we, we will continue this conversation, but probably in the metrics development meetings, and then we'll just probably update this group with how things are going and what's new. So, okie dokie. Um, Japanese is now a language that we are providing on the chaos website. Yay, I'm very happy about this. That means we have some Japanese folks who are joining chaos for the first time. I don't think we've had anyone from Japan in chaos thus far. So just a shout out to Divya and her work with the chaos Asia community and bringing uh, chaos to brand new places. So super excited about this. Um, if you are uh, Japanese or speak Japanese, maybe check that out, make sure that it's working properly. I took Japanese in college, but I can't get past Konnichiwa. That, that's where my <laughs> where my knowledge ends. Here's so um, it looked right to me. It looked it showed up looking like it might make sense, but <laughs> I would appreciate maybe a second set of eyes just to make sure. We do use G Translate for uh, as a plugin for our our WordPress uh, site. So um, yeah, it, it does come from somewhere that's trusted, but you know. Just would love a second opinion on that. <laughs> okay, and then the last one on here I added, um, I just wanted to throw this out here. So as you have maybe seen, Google Docs now has these cool things called tabs, which means you can jump between tabs if you want. Um, we can add a tab right here that just says maybe like test two or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how to change this. Maybe here, rename test two, test one. So we could jump between these documents fairly easily. I would really, really love if we could move all of the agendas into one document and separate them by tabs. Um, there, we just have a lot of docs out there floating around. Um, there's a lot of links, a lot to archive when we archive every year. Um, and this would be super easy <laughs> to archive because we would just rename the file and start a new one for the next year. Everything would be in one place. You can actually search all of the agendas for one term if you wanted. And um, you can still link to this specific tab. It comes up here in the in the URL, as you can see. So it, it's not like we would just make people find the agenda that they're looking for. We could we could still directly link, um, but everything would be in one place. So I'm very curious to see what you all think about that. Peculiar gives a plus one. Whoop, whoop. Is this the new tab thing? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Which shows up over here. So if you're the kind of person who just keeps all this closed, you would just need to open that to find yeah. or it to click sense. on it. Yeah. And this would just be, I'm sorry, I had to step away. This would be in lieu of like doing all that archival stuff. Yes, and maintaining 13, 15 different documents for different minutes. So everything would be in this one document. Oh, that's interesting. And then, mm -hmm, and then you would and just, if you like, That'd be like metrics weekly? Yeah, like, it could be whatever. What would be the other tab? No, like on the other tab. Oh. Would be, uh, could be like data science working group. And that's where their meetings would be. So they would okay. just link this, which has a different tab, a different URL. But it's still in this one meeting with all of the working groups would be listed here. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's cool. And the cool thing is, too, you could search. So if you're like, I know we talked about a topic in some meeting somewhere, but I don't remember which one it was. I know we've <laughs> we've had to open like 47 documents to search through and try to find, but you could search oh, all of them. At one. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I, I mean, heck yeah. It makes a ton of sense. Okay, so I I'm not it because currently I track like I on my own like um, bookmarks. I mean, I try to track every single meeting minute, 
and the bookmark list is like this long and now i would just have a single one which is called like chaos minutes yeah that's great yeah i think it would be easier uh for everybody to find if there's just one link um okay so let me ask this who has um who, who thinks this is a terrible idea which is also totally valid i'm just curious like what am i missing The, the only thing I could think of when I was trying to kind of play devil's advocate a little bit with myself was that there there's a limit to the doc size, but it's like 1 million characters or something it's it's pretty pretty big is the limit. So I, I don't know that we would run up against that that would be the only thing I, I could think of that might cause us problem if we have you know ton of meetings a lot to say in those meetings. <laughs> Um, but I, I think we would probably be okay. A million characters. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> In like real life. I guess we could maybe select, see how many characters are in here. Is that a thing? Select all. A million characters of text is about a thousand pages of plain text. Okay, there we go. So I'm fairly certain we won't hit a thousand pages maybe that'll be the end of chaos when we hit a thousand pages we're, <laughs> project is done <laughs> we're done too we're much all... <laughs> we're all tired uh, what happens if we max out the characters i don't know harmony that's a good question that's a good <laughs> question they take it all at google <laughs> Although it's like the price is right. You just can't go over. <laughs> yeah, we can no, no longer discuss anything. We will <laughs> not be able to do anything. But if that's if that equals a thousand pages, then I think we'll probably be fine. OK, so here's the second part of my question. What are your recommendations for implementing this as working group leaders that are in this meeting right now, um, other folks in the community, like I'm not sure how the best way to go about this would be. So I would love input on that. Like, do we just say from like November on, do we start a new doc? So what do you, uh, you have to do like, can any of the <clears throat> data science, so like, for example, the data science working group has their own page right now mm -hmm. for minutes. Like, would you just, can you just copy that over into this tab? Yeah, that seems to be the easiest thing to do. And then just that at the next meeting, just say, hey, we have a new link for the meeting minutes. Uh -huh. And it's just this, it's the universal link. That we're all yeah using. yeah yeah i would just put it in general probably just say hey this is what we're gonna do or at least this is what we're proposing to do is have one one document for all minutes and just use tabs as a way to allow you to have access to the document that's relevant for you. Um, so like can on that tab, let's see if I see the tabs. Yeah, the, oh, I guess that's the other question is, can everybody see it? Like if you go into this doc. I see it. Okay. Because I think that some docs I've opened do, do not have them. And I don't know why, but maybe that's something to be enabled on Doc owners. I don't know Our... how easy it is to, you can add subtabs to it too, I see. Yeah. Um, but I don't see. An ability to bring in, like if you click on those three dots, click on the data science working group. To go out and get.
You may yeah, just I could just manually copy it. Yeah, I can do that. I don't think that's a big deal, really. Um, just like one giant copy and paste. Yeah, just the control A, whatever it is. Yep. That's all. I mean, okay, honestly, cool. I think people will be will like this simply because then they only have to track a single document. Yeah. And then we just we would need to update the calendar invites. Yes. I think that's it, probably. Would we need like um, any kind of tab that's just like an intro tab or something that explains everything or no? Is that overkill? So we probably just rename, I don't think so. And we'd probably just call this one like chaos working group minutes or something like that. Okay. To which chaos community would then just be one of the ones in the tab here. Yeah. Should I just do that now? We just use this doc as a base, I think. Yeah. And so chaos community. Oh, wait, sorry, not, not chaos working group minutes. Mintus. <laughs> not even spell it right. How about that? And then chaos weekly would become like chaos community, probably. Yeah, that's the only thing it's kind of let me just take the chaos out because obviously it's yeah. chaos. There we go, that's a little better. Community week. <laughs> you could probably just get rid of like all this stuff after community too, just like community, data science. Yeah. University. Oops. I wanted to take off the working group. Yeah, and then I can go on. Mm -hmm. um, a quick question. Another thing I was wondering about for folks who are in the Chaos Africa kind of sub meetings, like the technical writers and the software devs, do do you all think it would be good to do a sub tab under Chaos Africa, or do we just put them all in one one line? Because they are forever, like anybody can attend those, but it tends to be more focused on Chaos Africa, and they are tied to West Africa time. Subtab. Oh, sorry, Peculiar, what was that? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm suggesting for you to be added here, so anybody can actually attend. What do others think? I think I think a sub tab is better. It's also easier to track. Okay, let's let's see how this looks because I've not actually done a sub tab. So we would just have. Oops, I did not want to do that. We don't need sub of sub. We need so it would still you could still keep all of these open if we wanted to see the full list, but you could also hide if you wanted. Okay. What do we think? Does that does that work for people? Well, let's try it and see. And if it doesn't work, then we'll change it. <laughs> we can iterate. No big deal. Cool. Yay. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let me just put a note here. Um, I think the reason also that I ask is that Chaos Asia is also considering doing a couple of sub meetings that are more focused on things that are relevant to their area. 
So um, it wouldn't be just Chaos Africa that has kind of those sub meetings. It would be any regional chapter that wants to kind of have their own um, more focused kind of group. And it does kind of mirror the calendar in that way as well, because a lot of those, well, all of those Chaos Africa meetings are under the Chaos Africa calendar group. So they all kind of show up at the same time. Put regional meetings episode tabs. Okay. Thank you to whoever's doing this. Is that you, Matt? It is me. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Anything else about that? Appreciate the feedback. I never know if an idea that I have is a good one. Like it's good to me, but oftentimes it's it's really not that great. So <laughs> I'm glad that other people resonate. This resonates with other people. So thank you. <laughs> okay, well, let's go on to our reminders. Uh, we do have some time sensitive ones. So just wanna bring these up. Again, please fill out the community survey if you've not done so. And if you are leading a working group, please mention that to them as well. We love this wide of participation as we can get, uh, that would be great. So I really appreciate that. Um, the next one is this, ugh, this week, two weeks, week, whatever time period is in flux. So uh, please keep an eye on your calendars. If you um, have not subscribed to the new, uh, where is it? Calendar right here. What do you know? If you've not subscribed to these, um, I should take this out because we're not keeping that up to date any longer. Um, this is where you subscribe to the calendars or can see what time meetings happen for you. And you can change this based on what time you're in. I don't think it changes automatically. Uh, so just double check that at the bottom. Make sure you're looking at things for you. Um, and then you can subscribe to individual calendars here. Um, by right clicking, save the link, and then uh, subscribe as a URL. You can also do all the chaos meetings right here. Um, so each also just so you know, each meeting does tell you which time zone the meeting is on. So if you're not sure if things are going to change, you can do this. So if you're in the US, the time won't change for you. But if you're anywhere else, the time will change for you, could change for you. And then again, the Chaos Africa meetings are tied to West Africa time. Chaos Asia meetings are tied to Chaos Asia, uh, sorry, um, India Standard Time. So yeah, it's confusing. So check the calendar, TLDR, check the calendar. I think you could remove the sure. ecosystem off the calendar. That group is no longer meeting. It, okay, I wasn't sure if they had, um, because I think they have a meeting today. So why does this get off? There we go. They have their their meeting today, and I think they were going to kind of make that decision finalized oh, today. So I thought it was but, fine, but okay, no big deal. It might be actually. It might be. I'll, I'll check with Georg. I'm not sure, but yeah, for those who haven't heard that, that's what we're going towards. Georg brought it back up last week about the app ecosystem meeting. Um, is we're putting it in archive mode, which means the Slack will still be um, active if you're in there, but no meetings, no more meetings. Thank you. We've done that with other working groups too that just kind of no longer serve the purpose. Sorry, did I interrupt somebody? I said, thank you, Elizabeth. This is Gil. Oh. You're here. I didn't see you here. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm in Mines at the Eclipse event, the OCX, and I just got back. So I joined late. Ooh. Hello. Oh, exciting. Uh, did you have anything, any else, other information to follow up with this kind of announcement here? Just what you said that it's time to archive the ecosystem working group, take it off the calendar, etc. Okay. And that whole group, are you meeting today, Georg? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, 
because I think to, oh my gosh, this is still on here. Go away. Get off. I don't know how to get it off. <laughs> anyway, reload. yeah, it's still on here. What's that? I was just going to say, just reload the page maybe, but <laughs> <it'd> help. <laughs> how do websites work? I don't know. Okay. Awesome. All right. So that's that. Uh, thank you, Georg. And a few conference notes here. We um, do have some tickets to All Things Open. If you are in the area, you want to go, we have tickets. So just let me know. Nobody has taken advantage of any of these. So I feel a little bit bad about that. So um, they love us. We love them. So if you want to go, let me know and I'll send you a link. Uh, if we do happen to use those five free tickets, then we will still get a 20% discount after that. It's a really good conference. Um, can't, can't recommend that enough. It's really fun. It's a good conference. Scale and FOSS Backstage have their uh, CFPs are open and they do overlap with each other. So pick one or the other or, you know, be risky and do both. And then you'll have to pick, I guess. But uh, Scale is in California, FOSS Best Backstage is in Berlin. So it's <laughs> kind of impossible to get from one to the other in time, unless you have a time machine. So yeah, that's that. And I didn't add on here that our regular reminders, um, but they're down here. So let's just put them up here. What the heck? These are just some things. If you didn't know, then now you do. I'll just put them up here. So yeah, read these and yeah, I think that's about it. What final words do we have? What final? conversations comments what did we miss we have seven minutes where's sophia she always has something to add at the end she's not here okay well i'm gonna stop sharing i think that's it thanks everybody it was good to see you yay we will see you here same time next week I won't be here. I'll be at All Things Open, but I think Matt's going to facilitate. So be kind to Matt. Please. <laughs> Don't give him a hard time. <laughs> all right. See you all next week. Bye. All right. See you, everybody. Bye.